Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this video, uh, the series I'm putting together where we're going from Earth to Jupiter by way of the Aero Freighter. Uh, and again, I feel compelled to state at each one of these videos that the Aero Freighter at the time of this recording is not available for general download. This is just a beta version that I'm uh, helping um, kind of flesh out. Uh, hopefully the Aero Freighter will be available for uh, Orbiter 2016 because it is absolutely amazing and it really makes these kinds of missions um, way more uh, immersive than they would be otherwise. So with all that said, let's uh, jump in, switch camera views. Yeah, gonna, I don't like how this keyboard, uh, the scene switcher thing I'm using, it's the old keyboard always worked. Anyway, so in the previous video, we brought the XR2 up into orbit. So let's uh, go ahead and switch over to the XR2 because we're not done with it. And let's just uh, see how things are here. So let's bring up orbit. So we have projection ship. We have our distance how we like. And all right, let's, uh, let's start setting up a plan to rendezvous with the Aero Freighter. And we are out of plane with the Aero Freighter. If I look at align plane and target the Aero, you can see that we're, uh, you know, and that's not a small amount, 3.3 degrees, you know, that's not a small amount, not a plane. So, you know, the absolute beginner approach would be to go around to the ascending node and uh, do a, a, a plane change correction. And if you can't get all of it at the ascending node, which you should be able to do because it's only 3.3 degrees, but then you would go over to the descending node and correct whatever was left. Um, that amount of correction uh, would be, you know, it, it, it's doable and we certainly have the fuel for it, but I, I feel like we can do better than that just by making the plane change maneuver part of our rendezvous. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and plan that out so I have transex open over here so and I have view set up so I'm gonna go uh, select my target and planets moons I'm gonna select um, let me think here what am I no I don't want planets moons I want uh, I don't want I don't want that I want to adjust to ships and I want to select the arrow as my target and my view looks a bit uh, not like what I want, so let me go to Grab projection and that looks better. So we'll go with that So quickly, what are we looking at? Uh, you know, like I always say so the little Gray line that's the earth the blue one is the earth's atmosphere and the green line is us This is the XR2 orbiting the earth and the blue line way out here is the aero freighter So our goal is to get to the aero freighter. What do we need to do? We need to raise one side of our orbit. So let's go to view, uh, let's go to maneuver, turn on maneuver mode, and I'm going to raise one side of our orbit, so we need prograde. And you'll notice as I'm adding in prograde, this hypothetical line is starting to extend out, and I want it to get all the way out to the orbit of the aero freighter, but no further. So I'm getting really close. I'm gonna go down to a finer adjustment. Let me go down to fine, in fact. And I'm just adding in more prograde until that hypothetical line touches the orbit of the aero freighter, which it's done right there. So now I just need to uh, uh, do a time adjustment. And when I'm talking about time, we're not dealing with, you know, years, months, weeks, or even days, but we're talking about hours and minutes. So I want to go down to a fine setting here. Maybe, let me see. So there's medium. Let me, let me start with fine. Uh, that, that was way too much. All right, so let me reset. <laughs> so reset. And let's go to super. Yeah, that's still a lot. So let's actually, let me reset one more time. So instead of super, we'll go to ultra. Oh, we'll go to ultra, and that's better. So now I'm just saying, you know, if I do this burn at 9176 instead of 9077, where will I be? And that I will be... 15.86 m kilometers away from my target so that's no good so i'm just going to keep adjusting time forward until i catch up with the aero freighter 
So we got a ways to go, I can tell. So I'm just going to keep warping time forward. And that's one of the benefits of being in a uh, relatively low orbit is that I'll, I'll, I will go around Earth quite a few more. I'll, I'll catch up to the orbit of the Aero Freighter much quicker. And I can show what I mean by that. If I bring up Orbit MFD, my time to orbit the Earth is 5,422 seconds. The time it takes the Aero Freighter to orbit the Earth is 2,000... Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, 7,622 seconds. So, you know, that's a 2,200 second difference. So I'm zipping around, you know, relatively quicker uh, than the than the air freighter, so I can catch up to it pretty quick. So I'm just adding in, you know, more more uh, more time, more seconds, more minutes, until the closest approach gets about as low as it's going to get, and it looks like we're getting really close to that point. So somewhere like over here in this range, probably. So, you know, something around there, and now you can see I'm starting to have uh, difficulty getting the closest approach to go any lower and it keeps wanting to jump between this point and that point and that's because of our plane difference <clears throat> so I'm gonna go well actually before I bother with trying to do plane change I'm just gonna see what I can do with the prograde to refine that just to see if I can get even get in even tighter uh, with prograde although I don't want to go out beyond the orbit of the aero freighter so let me actually bring that down a little bit and and I'm gonna now I'm going to look at plane change and just see what's required. And I have no idea which direction I need to go. So I'll start with medium and that's making things worse. So we'll go backwards and that's helping bring down our closest approach. So quite a bit of plane change there, but uh, it, it, you got to remember we're combining that with our prograde burn. So it's not to say that that's actually what it's costing us because it's actually like a, um, uh, there's an equation there and it's a, it's some combination of those two it's actually if you have all three if you have outward involved it's a combination of those three costs together but they don't add together so it's not like you know prograde plus plane change plus outward that's not how the formula works so let's uh put in plane change here to bring down the closest approach and we're getting you know, and again, this is the Aero Freighter, so it's not like, um, it's, it's not like Phobos or Deimos. We want to get really, really close in. And now I can see that the numbers are starting to go the other way. So let me just kind of hold that. And let's look at the date again before we adjust prograde or anything. And we'll go down to the micro setting. And yeah, we're really close in there, right around four. So I'm not liking how that's throwing me out. So let's see, hopefully we can take out some of that prograde maybe. Does that help? Let me see if I take out some prograde and then change the time a little bit, can I make it work that way? If I bring this around a bit. I'm essentially trying to do a Hamann transfer. Yes, I realize my closest approach is getting, is getting worse, but now I'm wondering if I co go over to plane change. And okay, that's not coming. That's not working out quite how I thought it would. So, or how I hoped it would. Rather, I wasn't sure what would it, what what it would do there, but it didn't do what I wanted. So, looks like we will end up having to have a bit more energy than than I would like. So, and then that just means we're, we're using more fuel than we would on a perfect Hamann transfer <clears throat> if we were perfectly in plane. But I, I, I still think that this is overall a cheaper maneuver. Um, but I won't bother proving it. I guess in some alternative video, I can pick up from the save point and run tests and see, or tests and calculations and say, yes, I was right, because if we do it this other way, it would have cost this much. Or, no, I'm a moron, and... I should have just done a direct plane change, but I'm pretty sure this is the better way to do it. So now uh, let's just continue playing with our variables until we get back to that point we were at. So now let's look at uh, plane change. So that's going the right way to a point. So let's go with that. And it looks like mainly, and then every time I pass here, 
I should check that. And then something else that I... Uh, no, that's fine. So take that out to about there. And now I just have to go back and forth between my variables until you know I'm back down to uh, the low number that we had before. So about right there. Prograde. So that's coming down to a point and down to a point. Down, I saw that get really low there at one point. Single digits, eight kilometers, seven. So we're almost there, just a little bit more fiddling about. And I'm guessing the rest of this is going to be plane change in prograde. So let's go to plane change. And let's overshoot that a little bit in that direction and then see what happens with prograde. So that takes us down to six. Let's overshoot a little bit in that direction. And plane change, wrong direction. So six, five, let's go a little bit in that direction. Prograde, five, four, a little bit in that direction. Let's test here. Mm, I think, I think the date, I think our time is where it has to be. Prograde, uh, plane change, 4.6, 3.8, 3.1, 2.8. So I'm overshooting a little bit more in that direction and prograde right there. Plane change, go to a super setting. So go to there, down a little bit, 1.8, go over just a bit and then just back and forth until we dial it in. So let's go with that. One point, so now we're down to less than a kilometer. So we, it, it, at any point we get tired of messing with this, we can be done. But I'll try to get us to at least 500 kilometer um, meters. And back one more, one more. And there is 500 meters. Let's go a little bit over in that direction. and 400 meters we will go with that all right so let's view so we have uh, 7,000 almost 8,000 seconds until we're going to do this maneuver so let's warp time forward get closer to that point and then we'll refine our plan because that's uh, quite a ways out into the future so a bit of time warp we'll get down to uh, maybe less than 600 seconds. So we're just at 100 for now. So there's 800, 700, 600, and we'll go with that. So now we will view back over to our maneuver, and the first thing we'll do is an update, and nothing changed too significantly, so that's good. And now we'll just dial it down just a little bit more. So there's 400, 300. So if I overshoot a little bit on that side, and then I go over to plane change and overshoot a little bit on that side. That gets us, uh, that gets us almost within, you know, a very, very small amount. So we're just going to fly that plan. And that last little bit of correction, you know, we'll take care of as part of uh, probably, we'll probably have a little bit of a mid course to do here. So let's go ahead and view over to uh, target. Let's bring up burn time on this side, get our maneuver from Transex. And so this is going to be a 50 second burn overall, right at 50 seconds. Let's warp time four, get close, get a little bit closer, and then I'll try to do just a bit of manual, um, let's see here. Not sure which way the vessel needs to be oriented with the, for where that red X is at. I can't, I can't ever remember up or down. So that that's going the wrong way. So it's going to be a bit this way. Let me see, do I need to go?
It's probably going to flip completely around. Oh, no, I am going the right way. Shocking. All right, but we're still three minutes out, so let's warp time four, get closer. All right, go back to real time, and I at least want to have the variable selected for... for the alignment. I feel like I went around all the way and missed it and went back around again. Could be wrong. Let's help out the autopilot a little bit here. About 60 seconds until the burn. All right, autopilot, or the X is pretty close, so the autopilot doesn't have a lot of work to do. Warping time for getting a bit closer to the burn. That's as close as I want to get. Now we're going to let the autopilot do the rest of the work. So you can see it's just positioning just ever so slightly with those RCS thrusters. So we have about a 50 second burn. And here comes the burn. Go ahead and warp time forward to get through that more quickly. Coming out of time warp. All right, turn off auto center, view over to the maneuver, turn off maneuver mode right away. And it always leaves a bit of uh, work for us to do, so we'll translate that. Actually, we can do a bit of main engine because it leaves like five meters a second. And we should be able to get, uh, was I, I was seeing like 300 meters. And now that we're at this point, I can probably try to do it even a bit a further correction just by tapping uh, thrusters, you know, whichever way helps improve our number. Looks like that's helping. And that's helping. And we'll go with that because we're going to have to do a bit of a correction here in a little bit anyway. Okay, so let me, um, let me think here. So I just, let me think. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to pause because if I do a save here, it's going to save this transex. So I can complete the rendezvous pretty quickly. So let me just pause here, switch camera views. And uh, so I won't actually have a save file at this point. Um, although what, what you can do, if your transex plan gets messed up, you know, the one that's taking us out to Jupiter, it's not the end of the world because we have that transex plan saved in our earlier scenario files. So I could always just open one of those earlier scenario files, copy those, uh, those MFD lines out and paste it into a new scenario file if I have to do that. So with that in mind, I'm actually going to go ahead and unpause and just do a save at this point. So my transex plan for Jupiter is gone. Save here and or pause now. And then when we come back, we'll finish the rendezvous from this point uh, up to up to the aero freighter and and then I'll think about what I want to do for the docking. So uh, that's going to end this part. And when we come back, uh, we will carry on. Leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next video.